interested in the uh, justice delivery system of my generation, yes. who are about 45 years here in this country. I've continuously read in the newspapers, the Times, the Spectator, about somebody steals a goat, he's going for 18 years, somebody steals something small, he's going for a long time, something, some people quarrel at uh, Kotokoraba markets, they are in for seven years, and the, uh, the, the, the people following the capital bank case heard that the accused persons were allowed uh, to pay substantial amount of money, I should say, right. and then they go, they go off. Two weeks after that, the graphic published a story of a guy who had stolen a goat, 15 years in jail. Right. Now, the comments under the, the, uh, the online story had many people called out your name and said, Godfrey Dummy is looking at this, and so rich people uh, pay back and poor people go to jail. They said, if you had allowed the guy to access the yep. so-called plea bargaining, all those people online would have contributed to pay for this, right. and he would have gone back home. Right. You preside about this, is it? Is it a bad system? I think that, um, first of all, I must concede to some proportionate sentences and, and, and punishment for some offenses exist on the statute books of Ghana. I'm saying it's proportionate and inequitable punishment for some offenses on the statute books of Ghana because just last week, a situation came to our attention. A foreigner was attempting to smuggle gold out of the country and there was an immediate need for us to bring the person into book. My examination of the criminal offenses act showed that the punishment for smuggling gold or diamond was actually death. And that's kill the person. Kill the person. Execute. Sitting on the on the statute books of Ghana. The, the criminal offenses of no, it was an amendment it was actually effected in the nineteen sixties. I think that, that was um, with regards to the context within which the nation was. In the nineteen sixties, gold was a major commodity, cocoa, the same. So very um, serious punishment were actually uh, levied against those who attempted to smuggle gold. And those laws still exist on the statute books of Ghana. And I think that ultimately there has to be a comprehensive review in order to ensure that such you know, offenses are, are scrapped off or the taken off the, of, of the statute books of Ghana. So indeed, we have to then have recourse to other alternative punishment for the same offense because the Minerals and Mining Act at 703 <laughs> specified a lower sentence for, 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 for smuggling gold. You can always say that if a person smuggles gold, indeed the gold was just about 1.3 kilos. But you killed him. Yeah, but you killed a person. And that, the value of that amount of gold that was sought to be smuggled was only 1.2 million ganasses or so. So does that warrant imposition of punishment of death on the person? No. I, as a tangerer, exercised my discretion and directed the DBP that though we have to have recourse to this other law, which also imposed a much lower um, um, sentence. So I think that when it comes to prosecution and determination of sentence, a lot of factors are taken into account. Now, we are in a situation where um, there, there has been a strong advocacy for imposition of alternative sentences for various offenses. And indeed, those alternative sentences for various offenses are actually with regards to the object of the prosecution. So, so in, in respect of matters bordering on, on finance or financial crimes and all, the primary concern of the state, uh, not just Ghana or Africa, but worldwide, is recovery of the loss in question. And of course, there might be some punishment at all. So in addition to the recovery of the loss, there's also um, certain disabilities placed in the way of the, of the, of, 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 of the convict. So the person, of course, will be disabled from holding office. The person will be disabled from carrying himself or holding himself as a director in the company and all. That is a lifetime <laughs> disability placed on, on, on the person. So, and also, and also, and also the point I'm making, yes, before, I, yeah, definitely I'll get to the point in no time. The point I'm making is that and the, the procedure for punishment of, of crime is most often dictated by the law under which the crime is punished. So financial crime is partly regulated by <coughs> Section 35 of the Courts Act, which stipulates that in matters bordering on economic laws to the state, an accused person, of course, with the um, consent or agreement of the state, may come by such a process, which will result in um, the, 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 the punishment of, uh, sorry, the imposition of, of a penalty as well as compensation instead of 
or in lieu of consider sentence, to use the, the words of the, of the statute, in lieu of consider sentence. So once an accused person comes under Section 35 of the Courts Act, clearly, consider sentence is excluded. And that is limited to only economic losses affecting the state. It is also um, affected by where the offence is being prosecuted. A circuit court, in respect of which an offence is being prosecuted, does not have the power to have recourse to Section 35. It happens only in respect of offences being prosecuted in the High Court. So first and foremost, the forum within which a person is being prosecuted, um, the nature of offence that the person is being prosecuted, the agreement of, of the prosecution are all essential um, requirements for the application of Section 35. And so this is exactly what happened. And I think, uh, if, and I'm saying that even citing this recent example of the Airbus scandal, mm -hmm. the global Airbus scandal, you would note that <laughs> there was actually recourse to an alternative um, means of punishment. And even in that Airbus scandal, the people actually escaped conviction. So it, it, it was actually in lieu of conviction, and they made um, good the, 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 the summer law. So, so, so we, steals, uh, so if the somebody steals it's, it's a good, is prosecuted under regular stealing. They don't take and hold on. cognizance of what he stole. Yes. They take no, if, if, of what he stole. Yes. If, if, if you steal a goat, if, if somebody comes and steal your goat, with all respect, it doesn't involve a common clause of state. So, so, so that analogy or that allusion, with all respect, does not apply. Why is he going to but, years? but that's again, that's, 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 that's high handed. And that's what I'm, I'm saying that there must be a federal reform of the law. Indeed, this office is actually leading the effort to amend the law by the introduction of an alternative sentencing act. So that will come to that. So, so, so sentencing. sentencing act. So, part of my, like yes, yeah, so, so, part, so my answer is in two folds. First and foremost, the law under which the um, capital bank matter or the laws regulating the prosecution of the capital bank matter, permitted recourse to Section 35. Now, so in going by Section 35, the prime object for the state will be whether the loss um, has been recovered or there will be sufficient restitution or compensation for the state for the offence. Now, I, in, in, in all humility, deem this arrangement um, pursued in respect of the capital bank matter, Republic versus William Artwison and two others, as the the best that has been uh, has been secured for the because state so far. A successful prosecution. Yes, because first and foremost, the 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 whole of the of the salmon issue, as far as I'm concerned, was recovered by the state. Now this is a case where the accused person was insisting on being liable for only 27 million ganases. I insisted that our review of the evidence shows that yes, he is responsible for at least 90 million ganases, and that ought to be paid. That's a wide and indeed, and yes, precisely, and and that is actually, not, and if, if you read a judgment to the court, we, you know, you know, in this case, the judgment was actually given, mm -hmm. the judgment, a full judgment to the court yes, was yes. given. There was a conviction of the first accused, and then there was an acquittal of the second and third accused persons. Now, this was the primary, or the, the the main accused person in that matter. Now, most of the offences that um, the second and third accused persons were acquitted in respect of actually also affected attrition. So there's actually even a likelihood. I the point you yes, so there's, there's if they were acquitted, yes. then you cannot uh, even guarantee you cannot find him for first and foremost, apart from offenses. apart from not even guarantee the guilt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of the first accused in respect of all of because the second and third accused persons were wholly that's, so a loss, that's a loss for you. It is a loss, yes. They so state so actually yes. So, so, two, loss good. So 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 thirty five mm -hmm. actually actually secures conviction for the state. That is one. Because it, it assures that the state will be successful. Yeah. An accused person may, may actually um, be wary of, of, of going to jail, yes. come under Section 35. But if he obtains some counsel and, of course, the case proceeds to a logical conclusion, the guilt of the accused person cannot be guaranteed. guaranteed. So in, in, the, in respect of the, of, of the um, second and third accused, I remember sitting in, in, in this office, I'm asking the question, so why is it only the first accused person um, the one having recourse to the, the other? And I actually extended uh, overture to the second and third accused person to also come along in the, in the desert. And that's uh, actually one of the reasons why the process delayed. And initially they were coming along, and somehow they, they, they result for the process. So supposing they had come along that process, they would also have been convicted and then they would be made to pay some more money to the state. Is that not the case? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> but, okay, but, so but, so but hold on. No, hold on, hold on. But the point I'm making is that 
<laughs> with the, with the, without the benefit of hindsight, <laughs> it means that they would have um, subjected themselves to um, a plea of guilt, even though ultimately the judge was going to um, acquit them. So, so apart from the benefit of Section 35, it secures conviction for the state. Secondly, it also re re secures recovery of the, of, the, of, of the losses in issue for the state. I have, I have been in this office, seen many cases in which accused persons have been thrown um, to jail and the state has labored without success in recovering the loss at all. I can cite the recent high profile case of Republic versus William TV and three others or so, the NCA matter. Four million dollars <laughs> in issue. Yes. Accused persons convicted. Yes. The question that we would, how much has been recovered of that one? But are you, can we you, are. Can you convict them? Yes, uh, the court ordered. Give a custodial sentence yes. and also ask for money? Yeah, precisely. So, so there can really? be, yes, the court, there's a provision of the Criminal um, Offenses Act, the Criminal Procedure You're Act. Not punishing them twice. No, not at all, because you cannot enjoy the process of your crime. The, the law. You put them in, in custodial sentence. Yeah, but, but that, we can serve the term and then come and enjoy the process of your crime. And indeed, that's what we are actually suffering in the NC matter. We have not recovered even one city. You know, that, that's still because, your work. yes, it's our way. Can we? Your yes. No, it's not our failure because, you see, the accused person, after having been convicted and thrown to jail, that's not our duty to even disclose any assets. It's up to the state, as we are saying, to, to, to go through the process of <laughs> discovering his assets and, um, and, and auctioning him. And so far, the only asset that we, 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 we've, we've um, discovered of one accused person is the with all respect, in the Savannah region of Ghana, and the value of that one is 150,000 Ghana cities. That has just been presented by, by the, um, by the Australia. So, 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 years, so I think that... comes up. They've been yeah. sentenced for four years, which is about, about finishing yes. now. So I think they that... they come out of prison, uh, would you then oblige them to help you to find their assets? Well, there's no obligation. Large, yes, it's so it's, it is. It is. That's, that's what I'm saying. So it's the value to Section 35 is one, a securing of conviction for the state, Secondly, recovery of the loss to the state. Those are secured. The only thing the state loses is the <laughs> serving of a custodial sentence. Well, so you apart say from that, custodial... You say that, so I, I, I can yes. steal the money, uh, invest the money, do my, my money stuff, make money, and then pay the state backward and keep the rest. So whether there is a rest or not, <laughs> yeah. is the concern so, people had about the 90 million that was paid. Now, yeah, but, but the 90 million, that, that was paid. That's why I, I, I make the point that, indeed, that amount... For me, constituted um, um, great success to the part of the state. The person was considering only 27 million. Ultimately, I literally forced them that without an agreement to the 90 million, then there will be no um, um, transaction. Trial proceed. <laughs> Trial will proceed. Judgment given. If they still lose it, they still lose it. If the accused person is convicted and thrown into jail, so like be it. Legal gamble. Precisely. So, and, 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 and indeed, in terms of the specific terms for the payment, this was the best. The, uh, uh, under, the under, high profile, under high profile matter in which Section 35 was resorted to was the um, venture capital matter. Yes. In the case where, you know, Sam's total about 40 million was an issue. Mm -hmm. The state settled for 50 million Ghana cities without any. Five zero. One five. One five. Without any controversy whatsoever. Mm -hmm. have, you, and, have you found it? And th no, and that one. The state, I mean, the agreement by the state and joined the accused person to pay only one million Ghana cities. That was just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And to date, the state has labored without success to sell the assets. Because the court ordered, unlike this one, where we insisted that there will be no assets in the issue at all, the accused person owes a duty entirely to pay one third. To present the money. To, to present the money, and that is all. Because I have gone through all this process trying to sell assets in Moyo so May. The way we, so, so one, yes, so, so, free, so, so, so now, I, I, I actually considering setting aside the, 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 the whole ag agreement um, reached in the, in the, the Richard Capital Go one. Back to the court. Precisely, has been contrary to, to Act 459. Mm -hmm. Well, I cannot understand how an accused person can be ordered to pay one million Ghana cities out of 50 million Ghana cities, the rest spread over, I think, over a year or two years, and that the state, in default, will have to go and sell the person's assets. The proper <laughs> requirement is for, in default, the accused person will have to go to jail. And that's actually what was um, agreed on in, in the in the, in the, in the Atreusian matter. So, and, and, and they feel hard done by it because they say that the whole money in issue, which was the, they believe was spent wrongly by the media, the 620 million, which is a loan they took from yeah, the yeah. Bank of Ghana, which is a loan, <coughs> so they were paying. Mm. And they had paid the loan up to a significant part of it. 
they take responsibility for the 27 million that was said to have been for uh, some custom charges or something like that. No, that they it, told no the, is, the it, is, is it was finder's fee? Finder's fee, 27 <laughs> million. They, they take responsibility for that. Yes. Now, they say that beyond that, they can show you where all the 20, 620 million is, a lot of them still with Bank of Ghana. Yeah. So they feel hard done by. Now, you are saying to us that you managed to take collect more than than could have been reasonably earned from the case. Is that the point? Yeah, that's the point I'm making. I'm saying that also there's some 20, 20 million in this. Um, it's wrong. It's erroneous. The, the amount in issue in the case was also 620 million. 620 million only represented the total amount of liquidity support mm -hmm. given by the Bank of Ghana to Capital Bank. So the Bank of Ghana, um, acting on behalf of the government of Ghana, gave a total amount of 620 million Ghana cities in liquidity support to Capital Bank. But in terms of the amount um, appropriated, you know, it was about one and just under, under, under one and 90 million Ghana cities. And the um, processes at the trial, in fact, even the processes in investigation, disclosed that parts of the money had actually been recovered, had been paid. And at the trial, clear refutable evidence was also given that uh, amount totally in all one and Ghana, one million Ghana cities had been recovered. So those were amounts that properly could be accounted for. I mean, they're not really. So I think that there's some an issue. That's why we contended that was 90 million Ghana cities. And of course, which was what they also further disputed, and which perhaps is the basis for the statement that you're making, that they were saying that um, yeah. everything had been paid apart from 27 million Ghana cities. So, 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 so that's a true situation. The amount in issue at the trial was around 90 million cities, and, 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 and 100 million Ghana cities was clearly shown as having been recovered um, to the bank and all that. And so it was every 90 million Ghana cities in contention out of which so million. So how do you monitor that the, the rest of the dates, <coughs> the payment is done in February something? Like well, so, so, so that's one headache that I've relieved myself of. I Why? told, I told the, I mean, the negotiations resulted in the accused persons are accepting. And that has been reduced into an agreement, uh, that has been reduced into a judgment by the court. That they will pay one third, 30 million, even before the court to consider their, their, their agreement. And that was done. Mm -hmm. So 30 million is out of the way. The 60 million has been spread in three um, installment. Any default on each of the installment will result in them going to jail straight away. I do not bear the, the headache. For how many hours? Well, default for one day, <laughs> a single day. Really? Uh, yes, precisely. I mean, I go by a letter of the law. I see. I see. His default is okay. Precisely. I mean, so he, he has to be to to to, to minded. And of course, of course, that's also in addition to the further um, limitations on him. He cannot hold himself as a director in any financial institution. Um, and then he, he also cannot stand for office and all that. So, and he stands as, an, as, 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 as a convicted person. So <laughs> I think, as I said, the only thing that is missing is custodial sentence. Apart from that, they still secured conviction in that tracing matter. So, so you can see that you lost two of the... Uh, Accused persons, so, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yes, essentially.